kind of presents did you get for Christmas? Well, I got some really spectacular knives. Hi, I'm Annette, and today's video is not a cooking video. Today, I'm going to be unboxing my Dow Strong Shogun Series X knives that my wonderful son gave me as a gift. Now, he has given me these knives on two different occasions. The first time he gave me the Dow Strong Shogun Series X, and it was it's called a Kiritsuke knife. And, and that's an eight and a half inch Kiritsuke knife. And he also gave me the six inch chef knife. And those two knives were for my birthday gift. And those were the first ones that I got. But then he came through again for a great Christmas gift. And he gave me the three piece pairing knife set. Ah! Yes. I'm in heaven. So first let me tell you that all of these knives are high-end and very quality, high quality, and they will last you a lifetime. So let's get right to it. Let's take a look at the packaging. So no doubt about it, right away you can tell that the packaging is beautiful. And just looking at the way they are packaged makes a first great impression. You can tell you're getting a high, very high-end product. Each box comes in a protective sleeve, and when you slide the sleeve off, you can read about the knife, how it was made, and how you can use it. The box is held closed by a magnetic strip along here. When you open it, you can see the knife resting in this padded insert, and there's a bunch of other information, additional information. First of all, there's a free VIP membership card. There's a care and about cook uh, booklet. It talks all about the differences in the knives and how it's made and all these different things in there. There is a quick care and maintenance card and it says right on here, keep out of reach of children and enemies. Keep out of reach and not for mortal combat. Do not use these knives for mortal combat. And there's a cool pin that comes with it. So you get a lot of nifty little gifts along with the knife itself. Oh, there's also a polishing cloth that comes with it as well. Each knife comes with a sheath and to for further protect the blades and your fingers. When you remove the sheath, When you remove the sheath, you can see the beautiful shoe shine finish on it, which is not only beautiful, but it's supposed to reduce drag and minimize stuck on food. And engraved on each blade near the handle is the Dow Strong Lion Head logo. The handle of the knife is made of G10 Garolite and hand polished and triple riveted. In fact, there's a pretty cool, um, I don't know if you can see it or not, pretty cool mosaic copper 
rivet in the middle. Since my son gifted me these two knives, they are all I use when I'm cooking and preparing my food. And I make all of my own food, in addition to doing a cooking video each week. So the chef knife and the kiritsuki knife have become one of my favorite things in my kitchen as my kitchen tool. Again, here's the Dal Strong logo, Lionhead logo. Wonderful finish. Triple riveted with that mosaic, copper mosaic rib, rivet in the middle. And the G10 Garolite handle, which is great. It feels great in your hand. These are all the knives I use to prepare my food. These two. Now I'm going to review my Christmas gift. It's the three-piece pairing night set. And again, everything that I've said uh, about the larger knives, all the details and everything goes the same for these smaller knives as well. So as you can see, the it comes boxed and each knife has its own sheath. And there's three different types of pairing knives in here. The first one right in the middle is the straight edge pairing knife. Let's see. Straight edge pairing knife. And again, all the same details. It has the Dow Strong Lionhead logo on it. It has the three rivets in the handle and the, the copper rivet in the middle. The same type of handle, which just feels great in your hand. And it's weighted perfectly. I think it's weighted just great. And then, I'm going to set that aside right there. Then there's the serrated edge knife. And this is another pairing knife, but it has, as you can see, it has the serrated edges. Everything, all the same details and care has been taken to prepare these smaller knives, just like the larger ones. And then last but not least, is this what it, they call a bird's peak knife. And um, this knife has an interesting shape of a blade. As you can see, it's, it, it's curved unlike the others, but the same detail goes on and, uh, for, for each one of these knives. Now, each one of these pairing knives has a purpose, a, a different purpose. For example, the Bird's Peak is a, a designed, and it's supposed to be good for peeling potatoes and useful for making decorative apple, um, fruit or vegetable garnishes, which I have no idea how to do. But you, the blade is meant to draw towards you instead of away from you. It's meant to come towards you. So later on, I'm going to be trying to peel a potato, and there's an apple back there I'm going to try to peel with this bird's peak knife. The serrated edge is supposed to be good for cutting through like lemons, something that has a hard exterior, and you might be able to get inside uh, really well. And Like if you cut a grapefruit and then wanted to uh, get the segments of the grapefruit out, a ser ser serrated knife like this would be good. And then there's the very useful, just straight blade. I mean, this would be good for any kind of small chopping things, like if you wanted to dice up cloves of, cloves of garlic or something like that. As soon as I got the second set of knives, I thought to myself, oh my gosh, I have a complete set of wonderful knives and I don't need anything else. So I cleaned out my knife drawer and threw away all the cheap knives that I had had previously and now these are the only ones that I'm going to use and I'll use them every single day. So let's do a little chopping with each of the knives and see how well they function. Now I don't want any comments on my lack of knife skills because I'm not a professional and I, I have terrible knife skills but I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. 
and I'm going to start with the three-piece paring knife set. What I have is an apple, and I'm going to use the bird's peak knife, and I'm going to see how I can peel an apple with this. Oh my goodness. It is so... Look at that. It is so sharp. Look at that. And I, now again, this knife you is designed to pull towards you. Look how thin I can get that. Wow. I'm impressed. I knew it was sharp, but oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. I'm very impressed with that. I really like it. So I'm going to set that aside now. And I'm going to try to peel a potato. I have a potato here. Oh my goodness. It just cuts right through. There's no drag at all. And look how thin I can peel that potato. Look how thin. That's awesome. That is awesome. Look at that. Won't be wasting a lot of the potato with this, you know, if you if you don't have a potato peeler, you can peel it with this. Wow. That's awesome. So I'm going to set that aside right now. I went ahead and put on my protective glove that is supposed to help you keep from getting cut because now I'm going to use the straight edge knife here, paring knife, and I'm going to slice up some garlic. And I just wanted to, oh my goodness, look how thin I can get these little teeny pieces of garlic. Look at that. Look how thin. Look how thin. It's awesome. Yes. That's really awesome. So nice. And it cuts right through it, not a problem at all. This is going to be a very useful tool, tool each and every day. I'm going to set that aside. The next one I'm going to go ahead and use is the serrated edge knife, uh, paring knife. And I'm going to open up this lemon with it and see how it goes right through the peel. Ooh, so easy. So easy. Look at that. This is also supposed to be good to get around all those segments in there. And so let me see if I can do that real pretty easy. Oh, yeah, look at that. It cuts right through, no problem. Now I'm going to use the chef knife to slice a tomato and see how uh, it goes through the skin of the tomato and how thin a slices of, of slices I can get. Oh, look at that. I'm like hardly applying any weight whatsoever and look how thin that came right out. Look at that. Let me see if I can get it even thinner. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look how thin that is. I'm like hardly applying any pressure at all. And look at that. Nice thin slices. These blades are super, super sharp, which is why I wear a glove. Look at that. Look how thin that is. You can see through it. Look at that. Wow. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. 
And the last one, I'm certainly not the least, I'm going to use the Kiritsuke knife and I'm going to cut up a bell pepper. Um, so, typically I cut it around the side like this when I and then open it up. So, let's see how this goes through the skin. I'm like not applying any pressure at all. I'm It takes a little bit to get through at the very beginning, but it's negligible as far as applying any kind of real weight or anything that just goes right through look at that look at that i'm going to save the bottom here now i'm going to take out i'm going to remove some of the, the white part and i'm going to cut these pieces into sticks which is very easy to do. Look at that. And then I'm going to go ahead and dice these up. Look at that. Yes. I love these knives. To me, these knives are an outstanding quality and powerful tool. I'm not a professional chef. I didn't go to culinary school. I'm just a homebody, a plant-based home chef who loves to cook. And I cook all of my own food. So I use my knives every single day. And honestly, these are the best knives I've ever owned. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. You'll have to make your own decision on the Dow Strong Shogun Series X knives but I highly suggest that you check them out. This is Annette signing off for now. And even though this wasn't a cooking video, I'm still gonna remind you to invest in your health by eating whole unprocessed foods.